care about Africa now. Let me worry about the fuck Africa. They can kiss my ass. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and even the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren scattered abroad, you fellow believers, you followers of the truth, supporters of the truth, even if you sisters, and shall warm to the elect. So, on this video with Captain Tazariak, you know. We've seen him time and time again going to, uh, before he was kind of going on to other parts of Africa, but now it's West Africa now. Clearly where the Israelites dwelt, now he doesn't believe F Africa in general. Not F America, I guess we're here too, but and I guess they'll say F America too, that's okay. But F Africa? This is not about an actual particular continent, right? This is about the children of Israel that were scattered. And I guess they didn't understand hundreds of years of scattering to the Americas and even being taken to the islands, in some cases back there and back and forth and so forth and so on. I don't understand why that's going down like that. I mean, even after we fled into to, to Africa and Europe and Spain and, I mean, come on, man. And then we came over here, the Northern Tribe came over here. <laughs> I don't know. And you, he would have some Southern Tribe with him. So this is crazy. Not everybody that uh, that came out of Africa were... Uh, uh, not everybody that left, they didn't get all the children of Israel and bring them here. Like every last one of them of the seed of Israel came here. And let's say that was the case. We're talking about hundreds of years. You got people now, Jake now going back to Africa, having back to Africa movements that live in Africa and have been living there for hundreds of years, even through the wars and everything. I don't get it. He's just got some issue with Africa in general well we understand the history there and what the other nations have done but hell we live in, in Sudan and Egypt and everywhere else now let's get a scripture on that I think a lot of this is just for show you know what I'm saying these guys are set up to push more hatred towards our own seems like they managed to use the, the elites who empowers these guys allows them to push the dogma on them but it doesn't affect them like pushing it on us right we catch it the worst anyway Deuteronomy 28 and 64 uh, I'll get a scripture on that too um, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods. What other gods? We talking about Christians, Hindu, Islam, Christianity, Islam, Hindu. Um, they got all kinds of gods now, man, you know. Which neither thou thy, nor thy fathers have known, even in wooden stone. Right? So, we were scattered um, amongst all, all nations. Let's get, um, what is that one I want? 30 and 16. I think it's Jeremiah. Let me see where it is. I think it's Jeremiah. Yeah, because uh, we were we were scattered, but it's not that the other nations aren't going to get judgment. I see what he's saying, but his passion is so so so-called, so strong to get back at the other nations, he's forgetting they're forgetting the manner of what the Lord did, right? So you get all this passion. They're going to the hell with Africa, you know, where you're losing your cool, so to speak, and you're losing control, or you do have control and you're just pushing a false message to bring more entertainment for us to hate our own people. 
that may be there. So you look at Idris Alba and you say you hate him too because he lives in West Africa? And clearly that's a jake. Anyway, Jeremiah 30, 16. Um, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. So you got to trust in the Lord. The Lord said all of them will go into captivity. But you can't look at a country and say that. We can look at and see China, uh, Korea. You can say, okay, as a nation, okay, this is what it is. But you got to understand that a majority of our, a good portion of our people are there in Africa. Right? There's a lot of our people still in Africa, believe it or not. But that's crazy. Let's go to Isaiah. It says, um, let me keep reading. And all that they pray upon thee will I give for a pray. Let's go to Isaiah. I think the one I wanted was Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 45. I believe it's 45. But this is this is the captain. He's got to keep that entertainment rolling, man. And these people will sit there and listen to that. See, if it's up to these guys, the children of Israel are never awake. They are, you know, the portion of them will stay asleep. Okay, let's get Isaiah 45 and 14. Thus saith the Lord, the labor of Egypt, the merchandise of Ethiopia, and of the Sabians, men of stature shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee in chains, and shall cover thee, come over. And they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely God is in thee, and there is none else. There is no God. So another scripture came to mind in Isaiah as I was just reading this. Um, to prove these guys, they, they either know the Bible. I know they know, know it, but they're putting on this charade, this shtick, so to speak. Isaiah 11, 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again a second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt, right? And from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from all the islands of the sea. So we see where it is going. There's no way that our people are not over in Africa. Okay. There's no way. Let's go to Revelation 7 and 9. First script, another scripture came to my mind. And then it shall be held, and lo, a great multitude to which no man could number of, of all nations, kindreds, peoples, and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So the first um, word I want to get to is, and I have to go into this because a Christian will see this, and they, you know, or somebody who trying to get understanding. We want to go into Nations, G1484. Um, let me see here. Nations, G1484. Goes to multitude, a multitude of individuals, the same nature or genus, human family. In the Old Testament, foreign nations not worshiping the true God, pagan Gentiles. But Paul uses the term uh, Gentile Christians. Now we go into the Strong's definition. It goes to ethnos, which nations just mean people, by the way. Ethnos, probably G4186, a race as of the same habit, i.e. tribe specifically. And it also says a foreign, non-Jewish one, usually by implication of pagan, Gentile, heathen, nation, people. Right, so you, our people would have been scattered in other nations following the mannerisms of the other God, but his says non-Jewish, one who usually impl implication of pagan, meaning non-believer. You had our people who were non-believers who were living in those other countries, and then they all be here too, right? Uh, let's go to multitudes. Where do we go to scripture on that? Genesis sixteen and ten. Then the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply your descendants exceedingly so that they shall not be counted for a multitude. We see this in Hosea 1, 
um, one in ten, right? I believe this is going into Sarah, but we see this is Hosea one in ten, right? The number of the children of Israel cannot be measured nor numbered. Okay, so you can't measure the children of Israel. So we go down down here to kindreds. Kindreds, a tribe in the New Testament, persons descended from one of the twelve sons of the patriarch of Jacob, not descended from America, or not just descended from Africa. We read in Deuteronomy twenty sixty four, um, scattered up from one end of the earth even into the other. So it's not just here on the Western Hemisphere, right? We're still in the Eastern Hemisphere. We're still all over the planet. We're in Russia, right? Some of us was there too. We're all over. So this is kind of crazy that this man is, I don't have much to say on this. This man is uh, Captain Desaryak. He has a problem with Africa. Maybe he need to be more specific. You know, maybe that's the case, but this is not looking good for the message that's being pushed. If you say, F Africa, the, the heathens that live there and that are not Israelites, eh, that would clear it up a little bit. But not everybody here is Israelites either. So where do you go with that? Not everybody in America is Israelites. Not all the Israelites are here. I don't know why they think that. I guess they think all the Israelites are just where the 12 tribe charts say they are. That's an identifier, yes, but people can identify with their nationality and where they come from. You're going to have people, you got brothers in Alaska. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I'm sure there's Israelites in Eastern Africa living like some of them. You'd be surprised. When the Lord says, Jeremiah 17 and 4, Thou shalt discontinue from that land, thy heritage that I gave thee, he never lied. That's not just talking about us here in America. That's talking about Israelites worldwide. You know, even some of the Irish, the Sicilians, that look white, the Japhetics, the ones that look Japhetic, like, like Dwayne Johnson, right? When his father was... Jake, obviously, but he's from Hawaii. I mean, come on, man. So I guess he's going to say F Hawaii too or F Russia. <laughs> yeah, but the elect that's, that might be there, Saudi Arabia, yeah, we're there too. You can't measure the children of Israel, man. That's all I have on that. Shalom.